Hi guys, Sonny here, Gundigi.io. I would like to go through a few things with you today and I'm going to show you a couple of quick shortcuts and tips as well. So, a couple of things we're going to do here today guys. First of all, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use sometimes um, and it's, it's also a good way of using the Gandhiji website without actually using the Gandhiji website. So it's also always uh, kind of handy to know as well how to interact with the smart contract without Gandhiji's website. So if we were if we were on Etherscan here, you can see this is a, this is the Gandhiji contract here. There's some tabs across the top here. Um, now they've got this new beta feature write contract so read contract and write contract within the within the smart contract code here there are different functions now the code basically made up of functions these functions if you can't read the code it's not too much of a problem because what etherscan has done here is they've got what in simple format um you could you could say this is kind of like google translator for the smart contract in this read section, any questions that we ask the smart contract, the smart contract is, is basically able to answer us in this section. So we can ask, uh, or we can see the answers that the smart contract can give to questions that we ask. So we can ask the smart contract, can you um, show us the dividends of this customer's address? So for example, um, let's get an address. It's an empty one, but it doesn't matter. Let's take this one here. If I was to put in here, show me the dividends, dividends of this address. Click query. Oh, there you go. There's some minute dividends in that address there. Um, remember, these are big numbers. When we say big numbers, simplest way to, to deal with that is just remember you've got to put 18 zeros or 18 decimal places on your full Ethereum. Uh, if you just keep that in mind, nice and simple. Um, you can calculate the tokens received. You can see the total supply. Again, these are all questions that we're asking the smart contract and the smart contract can give us these answers or it can give us the answers. It's programmed to give us the answers to these questions, um, these questions only. For any other questions, personally, I'd just stick to Gandhiji's quotes um, or yeah, of course, by all means, leave a comment below and, uh, and I'll do my best to, uh, to try and help. Um, so you can see the administrators, you can see the sell price, staking requirement, my dividends, including referral bonus, the total Ethereum balance at the moment in the contract, the balance of any customer address. So let's use that again. Ooh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, hundred and seventy-six IND tokens in this address. You can see what I did there. So we've got eighteen decimals. So we know one hundred and seventy-six is the amount of full IND tokens. And this is the rest of the big number. We've got the current buy price, my tokens, and and symbol. The IND is our symbol. So that's a um, basically go a quick a quick look through the read functions, what we can um, ask the contract, and then the right contract. This is where we can now speak to the contract. So anything we want to tell the contract or ask the contract to do, this is where we can see the result of those functions. So number one, we can ask the contract to withdraw. We, this, this function is actually administrator only, but we don't have an administrator in our contract. So this function, although it's there, can never be called by anybody because there is no administrator for this contract. What this function does is changes the amount of IND tokens required for your karma link to become active now this 
when I made the contract, I set up one IND token. This lets us set the administrator again, but you would need to be the administrator for you to run this function. So um, again, this, this function is invalid in our, our contract or inactive in our contract, unusable. Disable initial stage again um, was an ambassador only or um, administrator only function that uh, is not usable and the initial stage was launched in this contract uh, in a false state. So this was just setting the symbol, set the name. Again, these functions aren't callable um, because there's no administrator. The cell function, so this is a callable function. Anybody can use this function. You uh, put the amount of tokens that you wish to sell and you will be able to initiate that function there. Exit basically sells all of your tokens and withdraws your dividends directly to your MetaMask in one function. And buy, this is where you can go in um, and actually buy some tokens. You would put referral address in the bottom here and uh, the amount of ether. Remember this is a big number again you'd be using here so if we wanted uh, for example to buy one ether we'd have to put 18 zeros so that is equal to one ethereum um, the way that in the language that the smart contract will understand um, there was one point uh, guys I, I forgot to mention here if we are using this ether scan uh, kind of feature to directly speak to the smart contract we will need to connect our MetaMask so you can simply click the connect button and then you've got a green a green dot there that means that your MetaMask is now connected to Etherscan you can see all these buttons have turned up now for me to actually write and, and call the functions within the smart contract. So that's a really nice, simple, easy way without the use of the Gandhiji website for you to be able to fully interact with the Gandhiji smart contract and, and call every single function that's usable or available to us within the smart contract. If we go back to our website here, this website is basically a user interface that connects to all of these functions within the smart contract. So this website is simply connecting for the contract balance here. The website calls the smart contract, looks down, sees the uh, current total Ethereum balance. So this information here, one, three, four, five, six, seven, the website calls that information to show us the data here on the website. What I'm also going to do, guys, now is we're going to buy some IND tokens. Let's wait for this to go through a minute. This account that I have set up here and these IND tokens will be the account that I use for my weekly giveaways. So I've uh, promised 50 IND tokens a week. Um, you can find out the rules, best comment, basically all about just being involved in the community, being helpful, being motivational for people um, and, and helping educate people about the system. So these tokens in this account here will be where I send my tokens or my weekly giveaway token. So we've got 500, 
I'm also going to do quickly guys just at the start I like to uh, get into the habit of if I do buy new tokens I'm just going to go and drop a few of those straight away into there Just check that gas again. Yes, yeah, so I always like to bump up the gas career a little bit. It keeps things running smooth. But that should leave us just over 500 tokens in this particular account. You can see I've just bought one ETH worth of IND tokens. So we've taken 10% of that, which has gone out to dividends already. Everybody, you're welcome. And the website's now showing me if I wanted to cash out now straight away, I would lose the other 10% as well. It hasn't taken it right now, but this is an estimated value of tokens. So that's just showing me there. If I were to cash out right now, that would be approximately the amount of ether I would get for those 564 tokens. I personally, I don't look at this bottom bar. Uh, I was you know I wanted to remove it but it's uh, I suppose it's there for a nice nice reason but that's that other transaction gone through okay so sent 50 or so tokens across to our community fund and we've got 500 tokens now that are up for grabs in this account or well, they're here ultimately for my weekly giveaway yeah, I was saying, I, I personally, I don't look at this estimated value of tokens because I never plan to sell them. Um, if, I, if you don't plan to sell, if the ideal strategy to play this game is to hold and not sell your tokens, proof of weak hands, you know, to, to beat proof of weak hands theory, um, is to have strong hands. So to have strong hands, I don't look at that that value ever at the bottom I think personally I think it's irrelevant if you're looking to earn dividends from this platform for the rest of your life or for as long as the platform survives the Ethereum blockchain survives then that value there ultimately is is not relevant because you're not ever gonna sell if you're not ever gonna sell then why would you need to know what those tokens are worth now that's my personal point of view I understand people are gonna sell so it needs to be there and uh, people need to buy and sell and take profit and as my good friend uh, crypto Yardy says you know we understand if you've got to take some because uh, you've got to pay rent which is all good this is what the whole system is about um, I don't see selling tokens as a negative I see it as part of the system so um, guys on that note I would like to say don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be doing regular giveaways, regular updates on the Gandhiji project from now on. Um, have a good day. I hope to see you all soon. Jai Hind.